right side here. And Terrence Johnson having an excellent game, almost having that interception last drive on third down, breaking up that pass, and then here again on third down, coming up huge for this Bills defense that holds up to a field goal. Staying home, let that slot receiver run by. Staying home in that hooked area as he's talked to. Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the former Cornhusker, Brett Maher, to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 20. So a net gain of one there. looking to throw it. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch, and the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field. 
and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. From the 25 on second down, Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Cowboys use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Let's go now. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays try and go to those spots and get your offense moving and this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him you've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside that's where he can really hurt you coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack Throwing his hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. The 30. 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard, 81 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
Well, the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it <laughs> would have been, been a, different been a story. long night. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Prescott. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Meanwhile, Dak's throw pulled in by Lamb. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. On second and seven, Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into it because they were there to help break that pass up. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Prescott to throw it. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. But he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here. And I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven.
The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Come up now, second and four from the 31. Hurt hey, sets up to throw it. That one complete down the field to Smith. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 26 and a first down. Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. It's a second down run with Sanders. Four yards, the pickup, first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. It sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense have other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Throwing again on second and ten. Hurts. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Micah Parsons. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. He was okay, still looking right. through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. Drop 50, drop 50. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Oh, oh, Seventh hey. play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They're going to look to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Watkins. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Chris Watkins, 
35 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Elliott Good with a PAT, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. One of the Jets sweep as Prescott bats it forward. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. The defensive coordinators love that. You got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And partner, one good thing about trying to defend that play, you should see it coming the whole way. You see the receiver coming in motion in your direction. Nice job eluding the blocker, making the play behind the line of scrimmage. But an even better job studying the play before you have to try and defend it in a game. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. It's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. The man in motion is Brown. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to it again. Give that sack to Kobe Dean. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. to kick this one away. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Right 
right there, Hurts. No need, go. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And this one too low. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Check match. Check match. Check. Hurt. Hurt. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. He's got him, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Hurts, and that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. And he's going to get this all the way down to the two before he's wrestled out. A big play there on the catch and run. 55 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. situations analytics actually says do it this way which might be against the norm <laughs> and it paid off for them in a really nice way cashing in and there on the final play in the first half and we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside charles davis i'm brandon gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter it's the cowboys who get the football first and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter this fielded right at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. But they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that, they're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. 
And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And they'll accept that penalty. Here's Hurts to throw. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And the Cowboys have recovered. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half. And that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security. And none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed, so they've got to get a run back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays, make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. To throw again on second down. Prescott is going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. A place like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. On third down, it's Prescott. Open man lamb. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. To throw is Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. To the air again, Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw, Prescott. Open man is Noah Brown. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Now Prescott on fourth down. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. No problem there. They get the first by plenty on fourth and inches. We always hear about guys wanting to make plays that quiet a crowd. Shh. Yeah. After that one. Here in the third quarter, they were hoping to get the stop, get the football back. Not the case. What a completion on a fourth down play. So the fourth down conversion has him inside the 40 now, first and 10.
It'll be a handoff to Pollard, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Prescott with a throw caught by Lamb, and he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Defensively, he had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick, and the Eagles force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive okay, game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Goes right back to Smith again. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now this series could very well determine our outcome. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. 
The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Prescott. And this one is incomplete. Well, I think we're both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield. It's in a one possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. The Cowboys on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Here's Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. And again, it's Prescott. And Prescott, his third interception. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take over here up near the 40. Boy, Charles, that is now three interceptions in three consecutive drives. And you can see he's just got a look of disgust and bad body language, understandably, as he walks off the field. And I think it comes from the fact that he's not sure what he sees down the field, Brandon. I don't know if he's seeing ghosts. I don't know if he just can't read defenses. I'm not sure what it is, but that's why he's frustrated. Think about the defense right now. Every time they run on the field, they've gone from hoping to intercept the pass to expecting to intercept passes. Their confidence at an all-time high right now. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Second down, back to Sanders. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to inbounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed and being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. Throwing his hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders. 34 yards, and the Eagles have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over, and here a late turnover leads to a fourth-quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here, and they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This too shall pass, this too shall pass. And it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now a give here to Pollard. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Prescott. That's complete to Lamb. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Desperation time. Prescott on fours. Able to find Gallup. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. That's exactly what they got done. Oh, but a great tackle there. Going to hold him to no gain as the clock runs. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, on one side of this, Charles, an impressive.